contestant number nine. Representing Coastal Harmony Region 9 from Fort Myers, Florida, under the direction of Karen Breider and Deanna Kassler, Spirit of the Gulf Chorus. Definitely not your ordinary teenager. By the age of just 17, she had married her songwriting partner, Jerry Goffin. They had a baby, and this dynamic duo was cranking out the hits. One of their very first chart-topping songs, they wrote for their own babysitter, Eva Boyd. Little Eva became an overnight sensation when sales of this record topped the one million mark Everybody's doing a brand new dance now. Come on, baby, to the locomotion. I know you'll get to like it if you give it a chance now. Come on, baby, to the locomotion. My little baby sister can do everything. It's easier than learning your ABCs. So come on, come on, to the locomotion with me. Carol and Jerry obviously lost their babysitter, but the hits just kept on coming. Carol went on to write a number of inspirational songs for such great groups as the Chiffons, the Drifters, and even Herman's Hermits. When this old world starts a getting you down, there's room enough for you up on the roof, up on the on the roof's the only place to go Where you just have to wish to make it so Up on the roof One fine day you'll look at me special on my mind. Last night I met a new boy in the neighborhood. Oh yeah. Something tells me I'm into something good. Wait a minute. Could this be? Are you? You look so much like her. No, you're not her. Go back to the rising. Oh. 
Carol's first hit in 1961 was a really big deal. It was the first time since the McGuire sisters that an all-female group had hit number one in the charts. That groundbreaking group, the the Shirelles, the Shirelles. <laughs> um, but that song was banned on the radio, some radio stations, because they thought it was too provocative. What do you think? songs were popular when I was a teenager. And by the time I got to college 50 years ago, well, now you know how old I am. But you remember those songs, too, especially you down here. Well, Carol came out with an album of her own. And my college roommate and I wore out the grooves on that record. Well, when the record wore out, I bought the 8-track and then the cassette, and then the CD, and now I have it on my smartphone playlist. Celebrating its 50th anniversary, that album is Tapestry. And I, 
I still love every song on it. I was in high school when the Tapestry album came out. My best friend gave me a copy of it for my birthday. My three younger sisters and I learned every song on that LP. All the lyrics, the whole thing. We sang the songs everywhere. The basement, the garage, outside, in the bedrooms. You know, we were like a girl band using our hairbrushes for microphones. Carol King's music did so much to strengthen the bond among the four of us. When the Tapestry album came out, I wasn't even born yet. And neither were my parents. But, Carol King's music is beautiful, whether you're young, like me, or... Thank you, Carol King, for making us all feel beautiful. Thank you. 